Welcome back to WTL 11 Your Day. Do you like history? Do you like Ohio? Well, put them together, win some prizes in the Wood County District Public Library scavenger hunt. Marnie Pratt is here from the library with those details. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So you've done this for a number of years at the library. Yes, uh, this is actually the seventh year that we are doing this scavenger hunt. Um, we were not able to do it last year with the mm -hmm. pandemic, but mm -hmm. we have figured out a way this year to bring it back and keep everybody safe. And we're really excited to have it have it back. So, so a scavenger hunt at the library. Talk me through this. How does this work? <laughs> Sure. So, um, so we call it the I Love Ohio scavenger hunt, and we're kind of playing off the fact that it's uh, Valentine's weekend, um, and it starts Friday tomorrow at 9 a.m. and it runs through Monday at 5 p.m. You can come in any time in that window. You can come in by yourself, so you can participate as an individual, mm -hmm. or you can participate as a team. So if you have family or friends that really are into local history yeah. or they're into oh. trivia, um, you can put a team together and um, come in together. Uh, and then you'll, when you come in, you're going to want to come to the second floor to the information desk, and we'll get you set up with your sheet of trivia questions. And then you will basically just spend some time digging through and hunting through the local history collection for the answers to those uh, trivia questions. Uh, and then, and those questions cover a variety of things, uh, people, places, events, really anything in Ohio's history is fair game. <laughs> uh, and then when you have finished your sheet, uh, whether you have answered all the questions or maybe you've given up on some of the questions, <laughs> uh, you will turn in your entry form and then the top two entries will receive prizes. Uh, and this year, those prizes are downtown dollars, which if you're not familiar with those, they're basically gift certificates that can be used at a variety of businesses in downtown Bowling Green, restaurants, retailers, um, all kinds of places. There's dozens of places that, that you can use them at. So. Awesome. This, it sounds like a lot of fun. And you've mentioned that you've done this for a number of years. Why is this something that the library said, uh, we want to do a scavenger hunt? <laughs> yeah, um, we, we just thought it would be a fun way to get um, people interested in local history and that, or also just raise awareness about this really great local history collection that we have here. Um, um, and and it really has done that. We have a couple of teams that have come back a number of years. Um, some of them get a little competitive, <laughs> um, but it's all in good fun. They're very good sports. Um, but and just because they come back several years also doesn't mean that they're always the winners. Um, a couple of years ago when we held it, the top the two teams that won one of them had never participated before it was their first year wow. and then uh, the other winner that year they had participated like four years in a row and it was the first time that they won so it you know it's really anybody's game yeah <laughs> so. yeah so bring your knowledge with you marty you have a couple of questions that you've used in years past for this to throw I at do. me this morning throw give, give people maybe like a sample of what you might be able to expect what do you got for me Okay, so I've got one here on Grand Rapids, the, the city okay. of Grand Rapids. Um, it is known for many things, including canals, uh -huh. bridges, mills, and of course, apple butter. Apple butter, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but very few people know that it also once went by a different name than Grand Rapids. Okay. Do you know what it was Ooh. originally called? I think I have somebody cheating in my ear. Gilead? <laughs> That is correct. Oh, we have a smart ding, ding, ding. we have a smart producer in the house. What can I say? Who helps me cheat? <laughs> there you go. There you, yes, unfortunately, the participants won't have that. No, no, you won't have the voices in your ears uh, feeding you the answers, uh, quite like quiz show. Uh, but uh, this this will be. It sounds like a lot of fun for just even families to get together, friends. Everybody loves trivia. Yes. Yes, it, it really is a lot of fun. Um, and like I said, um, it, we have gotten a lot of people aware of the collection. Some people come back afterwards and look for things or to follow up on what they they looked at when they were here yeah. for the scavenger hunt. And at the very least, you will walk away with some interesting or unusual facts about <laughs> Ohio that you can impress your friends with. Exactly, <laughs> Gilead. I learned that today, so yeah, I'll have exactly. to come and learn. I'll have to come and learn some more again. That starts uh, tomorrow and runs through yeah. Valentine's Day. So I'll pop on over to the library there in Bowling Green and uh, get yourself entered and set up. Marnie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. That was fun.
Thank you. Yep, Thank take you. care.